So what's up guys welcome back to my channel what happens if and I am back with a new serious topic that is on flood. So what happened if you stuck in Assam flood? All we know heard every year about the floods in Assam. Many peoples, many animals and too much destruction every year. So in this video we will find the reason of flood in Assam and how we can prevent the people from the flood. So let's start the video without wasting any single second. So let's discuss about some previous year floods that's come in last 7 years. So first flood is on 2012. In this flood 124 humans and 540 animals killed and they are too much bad effect on the Assam. And after that the second flood is on 2013. In this flood 86 people killed and lakhs of people get affected. And now move to the third flood. The third flood is on 2015. In this flood 42 people killed and lakhs of people get affected and they get homeless. So move on the fourth flood. The fourth flood is on 2016. In this flood 28 people kills and many persons affect. So move on the fifth flood that is on 2017. In this flood 85 people killed and half of the population affect. And move on sixth flood that is on 2018. 12 people killed and 20% of Assam population get affected. And on seventh flood that is previous on 2020. 61 people killed and 48% of population of Assam get affected. That means every year flood vanish the Assam and kill too much people. So now the question is in our mind what is the reason behind this every year floods. There is also known as most flooded prone state. So let's check out the reason behind that. So the main reason is our river that is named as Brahmaputra. This river passed from the Assam and it is very unstable river. It's too much change their direction every time. And according to some researches in 1950 due to a massive earthquake in northeast India, due to that earthquake, the Brahmaputra become more unstable. From 1950 to 2010, there are 10 major floods in Assam. But in previous year, Every year a major flood occur in Assam and there are increasing frequency of floods every year. Now the question is why? Why flood frequency increase? Why more and more floods every year? There are some reasons behind that like deforestation, unplanned growth, enrollment of floodplains, not proper drainage system, climate change and failure of embankment. There are some reasons behind the flood. So let's discuss one by one. The first reason is deforestation, cutting of trees and forests for making your industries and homes. This is the wrong and the first reason of flood. So let's move to the second reason. Second reason is unplanned growth. We all know we all have to grow our country, our states. But there are unplanned growth in Assam. Because of that, the floods occur. So next point is enrichment of floodplains. Floodplains are the area that are on the sides of the river. When river will become overflow, then water move towards the floodplain. And the constructions and the builders make buildings on floodplain. And now when river is overflowed, then water start moving toward the houses and they called as flood. Next is not proper drainage for the water. And another one, climate change or the failure of embankment. We will focus on the main two points that is climate change and failure of embankment. So first we will discuss about climate change. According to the situation of flood right now, Mizoram, Meghalaya, Tripura, Bihar, UP, they also get affected. And a high alert has been sounded in Kerala because Heavy rainfall has been predicted in next 3 days. A flood like situation may also occur there. It is a strange condition because just a month earlier 
there was secretary of the water in kerala and there also a defect of 46% of rainfall the water reservoir were the too much low and almost a condition of water crisis and now suddenly extremely rainfall and the flood is also been predicted so one month earlier there was a water crisis and now suddenly a rainfall that floods may be occur there is a direct impact of climate change due to climate change the number of days in which the rainfall occur is decreasing day by day and when it's rain it with the more intensity the cases of extreme rainfall are on the rise and the total number of days of rainfall are falling due to which the situation of water crisis is also increasing now let's focus on embankment embankment levy or dikes they are the three different names of the same word they refer to the wall that is constructed on the bank of the river they help to control the flow of the rivers and direct it in a part a particular way and they prevent the flooding of nearby areas historically all believe that this is a simple way and a proper way to prevent the river from flooding they can be made of concrete or even mud when the embankment fills to stop the water then it is called as embankment breaching this can happen with two ways first when the river level rises to the height that the water begins to overflow the embankment and second thing that can happen is that the embankment breaks a hole can arise in the mid set somewhere it could be weak at some point then the water starts to flow out the hole therefore they need to be constructed very carefully keeping high standards in their mind if any resourceful arrangement were made while construction then the entire thing could break and in assam there are total around 450 embankments on the banks of river more than half of them are extremely vulnerable condition that is they can break easily so now what's the solution right the solution lies in the netherland netherland is the world best country if we talk about the flood control because netherland reclaim too much land from the river the simplest solution that followed by the netherland is focus on the relocation of embankments further away from the rivers that is the river was given a larger area to flow so whatever small changes occur in the flow of river it can spread over larger area the problem of sedimentation is also reduced by this way so they constructed embankments further away and started to grow trees along the flood plains area inside the natural greenery and the natural forestation for the enhance the flood protection before the embankment so in today time the river of netherland and their embankment are looking too much beautiful due to the greenery on their sides and the embankments constructed are so far from the rivers another thing they did was to further lower the level of the flood plains this provided more height to the river to flow the river bed would dug up to further lower the plain so that the river get more space to flow all the obstacles in the way of river were removed then allow the river to flow freely after that the special area created for the water storage and a water reservoir was created where there are the chances of flooding if a flood occurs then all the water start collecting at one place so these are some simple steps that netherland adopted and it's it also called as room for river project i feel this would not too difficult to implement in india also i hope the while constructing the length of highways and embankment along it with keep such small things in the consideration also like river should be given so larger area for a free flow so that flood prevention become easier i hope such a day will become when so many floods peace uh, happen and we are able to save so many lives so now we to the portion and the title of our video what happens if you stuck in assam flood if you are in assam and you stuck in a flood now what will you do and how you survive 
they are the questions that arise in your mind right so we can't stop the flood but we will take some precautions like first don't stay in the building that's near the river second if flood occurs find a high place where water cannot reach easily like mountains and your roofs number 3 stay informed and alert from the news if you have already informed about it then leave the area where flood occur take some foods and necessary things with you number 4 don't drive and don't walk in the flood water it is too dangerous number 5 be always ready with an emergency plans and plan it with your family there are some safety precautions or ideas that you can use so that's for today video now move to the shout out for the last videos answers so for first video that is about education system sneha sharma give the right answer so a big shout out to sneha and in my second video that is about gravity disappearation the right answer is given by ajay kumar so a big shout out to ajay kumar so let's move to the today question that is how many times in the video i use the word river if you know the answer or if you remember so let me know in the comment section if you answer right then you will get a chance to shout out in next video so that's for today video i hope you like the video if you like then like comment and share and don't forget to subscribe my channel what happens if and press the bell icon for the latest notifications so sayonara and signing off